Enemy Intel is brought to you by Rothman Institute at Jefferson, the official orthopedic and healthcare partner of the Philadelphia Eagles. So it's now Nick Foles' team heading into the final three regular season games and then going into the NFC playoffs. And Nick Foles is a veteran quarterback with a lot of experience in this league. He has a good arm, he can make all the throws, he's a little bit more of a pure pocket passer than Carson Wentz in that Nick will stay there. But keep in mind, he has an awful lot of experience in this particular offense, having played with the Kansas City Chiefs a year ago. I thought it would be instructive to start by going back to 2014, the last time Nick was a Philadelphia Eagle. And let's look at him against the Giants. And the reason this play is so interesting is because it's a three by one set. And who's the one receiver? That's Zach Ertz. And we're in the red zone. So what you see here is Ertz running a corner route. And this is an outstanding throw by Nick Foles against good coverage for a touchdown. Those are the kinds of throws that Nick Foles can make from the pocket. So you can expect to see that. Now, I mentioned that last year, Nick was with the Kansas City Chiefs. That's the offense that the Eagles run. The same methodology, the same concepts. And here's another red zone concept that we've seen from the Eagles this year and have talked about numerous times. What do they do? They line up with three tight ends in the high red zone, and all three tight ends are to one side. Now the outside tight end here is Travis Kelsey. What does Kelsey do here? He widens and then comes back inside, basically a post route. We've seen Zach Ertz run this route numerous times. And what does Nick Foles do? He delivers a perfect ball for a touchdown. So we've seen two red zone plays. The Eagles are really, really good in the red zone. You can bet with Nick Foles at quarterback, the concepts won't really change, and Nick Foles will execute them. All right, Mike, Nick Foles really had his most successful moments as an Eagle. He was 14-4 and four as a starter under Chip Kelly, 40 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. What does he do well, but what has Carson done that Nick can't exactly do? Well, Carson does things that there are not many quarterbacks that can do, the way he extends plays and some of the situations that he gets himself out of. This offensive line and everyone across the board has to do a much better job of protecting Nick because he can't move like this guy moves. There are not many. And you watch Carson on this play and just the mobility in the pocket and the ability to get out of harm's way. You've got a stunt over on this side. This guy's gonna loop to the inside. This guy's gonna come outside. So Corey Clement initially is gonna keep his focus on this guy, but when he sees that stunt, he kind of leans back to the inside and Ogletree almost gets a hit on Carson Wentz, but watch how he feels the pressure and how he steps up out of harm's way and extends that play well enough to get the ball off down the field. That's one of the things that Carson gives you that not a lot of quarterbacks can do. So the offensive line and everybody really will have to pick up their game to make sure that Nick is protected first and make sure that he has time to throw the football. Doug Peterson said he really doesn't have to change much with the offense with Nick Foles, but what are the things he can do to help Nick Foles? Well, see, I don't think he's going to change a whole lot. I think the run pass options that they're in the offense, I think all of the things that they do, they're going to continue to do those things. They will run the football because that's what they have to lean on. Run the ball, run the ball well, and if they do that, I think Nick Foles will be just fine. Nick is a veteran of this offense. He was 2-0 last year running this offense for Kansas City. Nick can run the offense without a problem, but the guys around him, they'll have to pick it up a little bit.